Welcome to the hottest entertainment blog on the internet today, The A-List. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and every year, uh, without fail, we have the A-List Awards here at the A-List. So who will walk home? Who will leave with the most coveted prize in Hollywood? The Sinestro Bobblehead. Look at him. Look at him. I hate you, Harry Jordan. Yes, he's, uh, he's very funny. Anyway, so who will walk home with the Sinestro Bobbleheads tonight? As you saw on Twitter and Facebook last week, we started the ever-famous Where in the World is Wes Troop? Oh yeah, you know you love it. The winner of the first game of Where in the World is Wes Troop, of course, was my arch nemesis in the running for Hayden Panettiere, was Jeff Heinbuck, who got it, Hershey's Chocolate World, in like five seconds. Uh, yeah, go figure. He knows his chocolate machines. Uh, the second game was won by Amy Mertz, who guessed Christmas Village. You know, because the two good things in Wolmelsdorf are Christmas Village and Amanda Geistwhite. All right, let's start off the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, our first award tonight is the Internet Hottie of the Year. Oh, yeah. Gotta love this song. I haven't heard that song in years. Anyway, so uh, the winner of Internet Hottie of the Year goes to one of my Twitter buddies, Elena Ray. The next award is Best Celebrity Twitter Buddy. And I actually got this tweet just a few nights ago, ladies and gentlemen. The winner is Jennifer Carpenter of Dexter. Oh yeah. Well, you all know I've reviewed many, many movies this year, but there's just one that you know there's always got to be a special place waiting in hell for this film. And it was easy for me to pick this one. <laughs> there's, it's, it won't be a surprise if you've watched my reviews. This is going to be the Worst Movie of the Year Award. <laughs> Interestingly enough, with that sound effect, because it is Battleship. If I got that on Blu-ray for Christmas, I would have slapped the person in the face. Anyway, so our next uh, award goes to, oh yeah, you know I love this award, Best Celebrity Nudity of the Year. Oh yes, this was very painful to have to go through these nominations. Anyway, the winner is someone who I thought would never, ever, ever, ever in the world of Taylor Lillard Swift get an A-list award unless it was for like biggest hemorrhoid on earth. The winner of the Best Celebrity Nudity of the Year goes to Kristen Stort for On the Road. Oh yeah, I enjoyed this performance. <laughs> ah yes, that reminds me. I saw Kristen Stort's nipples out on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw Kristen Stort's nipples out on Christmas Day in the morning. The next award, ladies and gentlemen, goes to the Dude of the Year. You know, we got the Babe of the Year, you gotta have the Dude of the Year. Uh, and I go by, you know, by who was awesome in all their roles this year. Who, you know, was pretty cool. Like a cool dude, man. Anyway, so this year... It's, I mean, he was all over the place. He was in Dark Knight Rises. He was in Looper. He was in the Premium Rush and Lincoln. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, sorry, I had to wake up. Uh, yeah, just that word put me to sleep. Anyway, but all good movies. And, uh, you know, got to give this to the guy. Joseph Gordon-Levitt gets the Dude of the Year Award. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has come down to this. You know, we've been doing the tournament since October. Uh, you know what time it is. It's time. It's the last time to J.O. for the year. It's the Babe of the Year Tournament. Oh, yeah. It's the big time. Well, we got to, we are down to three, ladies and gentlemen. We have Scarlett Johansson, Olivia Wilde, and Emma Stone. 
and it's time for me to make my decision. The 2012 Babe of the Year, winning the Sinestro bobblehead, of course, is Emma Stone. Well, that leaves just one award left, ladies and gents, and that is the Movie of the Year. Well, you know, I wish I had an answer <laughs> to this one. It is a tie right now between The Dark Knight Rises and The Avengers. Ladies and gentlemen, I will have your answer. I'm just like, uh, what's his name, Jeff Probst. I'm going to give you the two uh, at the end, and then I'm going to take the bucket and just run onto my plane. In fact, peace out. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away Yes, I will give you my answer in my top 10 movies of 2012. Look for it next week. So, peeps, until next time, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out some other videos. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on the Twitter. And of course, you can check out the reviews on RottenTomatoes.com. Even better, in a couple weeks, peeps, just a couple weeks, available for sale, the A-List 2012 Movie Yearbook will be available. Oh yeah, you know you want it. So, until next time, peeps, Troop, out.